Hey guys, it's coffee time. Drinking my peppermint mocha. A lot of you were asking if I would do another video while walking around our property because I haven't done one of these in a while. Last time, man, it's probably like two years ago, maybe earlier than that. Oh, the sun's on this side, so I'm gonna, oh, uh, 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 there we go. <laughs> Trying to switch arms. Uh, without making it super awkward, and I failed. Look, it was really awkward no matter what, so. Um, but yeah, for those of you who don't know, uh, my family owns a big farm. This is it. It used to be a ranch, for those of you who don't know the difference. Um, a ranch tends to raise a lot of animals. They specialize in cattle or horses and things like that. Um, we used to have a bunch of animals. So, like, all in this used to be, like, kind of fenced off all in here was an area for horses. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk this way. Well, maybe I can walk this way. I can take you by my favorite tree, which looks really sad right now because it's fall. Um, yeah, so we used to raise a bunch of animals. We had like four generations of horses. We had sheep, we had pigs, we had all sorts of things. And uh, then my dad got really sick one year. And so we had to sell all the animals, which was a super bummer because as a kid, I was like, oh my gosh, I love all the animals so much. But I was really bad at being in charge of any of them. My parents tried to put me in charge of the chickens and they scared me <laughs> because they would like peck at me and things. And I was like, I don't like them. This is my favorite tree. But like I said, it looks really sad right now. <laughs> um, this is our house. That's our house right there. This is our backyard with the gazebo. So this gazebo looked real messed up for a while. And then we, um, rebuilt it. Well, my dad rebuilt it. My dad fixed a lot of stuff about it, so we can still use it. And, uh, see, I can t oh, I'm not going to take you in the barn because the barn looks like a nightmare. <laughs> but that's our barn. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, look at that. So beautiful. So pretty. I remember helping to, to put on this roof here. I helped with that. I'll show you the area where whenever um, I talk about having a family barbecue, can show you the area where we have our family barbecues. It's nice. I always love coming here because it's just so peaceful. It's always quiet. Um, it's just a really nice place to recharge, you know. So this is this is our uh, our like little area. I don't know what that's doing there, but normally, wait a minute. Is this on top of? It is. There it is. I was like, where is the fire pit? That was super weirding me out. Apparently we put a pool on top of the fire pit. I don't know why. Whatever. We can do, we can do what we want. It's our farm. <laughs> so yeah, there's a fire pit over there. And we have like a little horseshoe area and stuff. And just like, that's a really pretty area. That over there. Can you see it? Yeah. That right there is a, um, it was supposed to be like a big water thing that never got finished. <laughs> water thing, like a, like a fountain, like a really pretty fountain with, um, you know, like nice plants around it and fish and things. And we never finished it. I'm going to switch arms again. Oh, awkward all over again. Awkward all over again. Ah. So yeah. Um, yeah, this is our property. It's so nice. Last couple of days were uh, Sam and I trying to get everything done and edit our videos and make sure stuff was going up. I played a terrible cat game that I'm like slightly intrigued by and kind of want to play. <laughs> so the first part of that's gone up on Press Heart if you want to watch that. Um, yeah, and then yesterday was just travel and getting here and Sam and my brother met each other. My brother and I really want to do a music thing together, but we're both like busy in totally different ways. Like Jared's got done with his, um, Jared just got done with his European tour, which is amazing. And he's lined up another one, I think in April, he's going to be in like England and Spain and a bunch of different places. He's going back to England because there were, so basically like my brother's a musician. I've told you guys that before, but he, he put out his album independently and then kind of the first people who took notice of him um, were a bunch of different labels in England. Like that was the first place where people started being like, whoa, Jared Lawson's like pretty dope. And so he has like a pretty big 
like base, like a like a fan base in Europe, which is kind of nuts to him. So um yeah, so when he was done with his tour, he already had so many other places in England specifically being like, "Hey, we really wanted you to play here. Could you like come back?" <laughs> so he's like, "Okay." So he's going back in the spring, which will be pretty cool if you wanted to, you know, if you wanted to like see him. He's going to be he's going to be back in Europe, so I guess one of the nights uh at man, I can't remember the name of the place. There's like a specific jazz bar that's a real big deal that he's going to be at and uh, it's already almost sold out, which is nuts. He's just like, I don't understand. Like, he's been... My arms keep getting tired, guys. <laughs> he's been, uh, you know, he's been doing music his whole life and he went through that whole big phase where he was like, ah, I don't need to be making money on it. I'm just happy to be making music, right? Which isn't... If you want to be doing music for the rest of your life, you have to figure out a way to make money off of it, which, you know, might to some people feel like it cheapens it. But if you can be living off of it and you still really love music, then that's like a gift, you know. So for him, he finally reached this point where he was like, I need to I need to figure out how to <laughs> you know, like like turn this into something I can do with my life and really focus on. And so he worked on his album for like years and put it out and for so many people to be loving it is like this incredible validation for him so I'm just really proud of him I'm really happy for him I'm gonna take you in the woods are you excited this is gonna happen so yeah I'm just really really happy for him and uh it was cool because he picked us up from the airport so he and I got to catch up and he and Sam got to talk and everything and I'm gonna take you in the woods with me this is where I used to, uh... oh my, what are you? <gasps> are you a wizard? Who are you? Hey, where are you going? You just like blended in perfectly with the leaves. That was super nuts. I was like, I can't even see anything there. I don't even know where he is. Hey, sweetie pie. Hey buddy. It's okay, I'll leave you alone. You're blended in perfectly with the leaves. I don't even see you. Where'd he go? Oh my gosh. here who are you stop <laughs> I used to spend all my time like right in here um, man a lot of it's changed <sighs> because like my parents have tried to figure out how to like clear this out and turn it into something but I used to like I think through here I used to like walk through here and then yeah walk back in here and there used to be I kind of like created a little path for myself back there and if you go all the way back in there there's a weird little hut like straight out of a horror flick and if you go into that hut it's like the hut's like pretty much falling apart but I guess the guy used to raise pigs there but it's like it's so creepy but as a child I was like whoa cool <laughs> you know? I didn't like it hadn't it hadn't socially developed in my brain to be scared of that sort of a thing. So, what's over here? I keep hearing something move. <gasps> Hello? <gasps> There's a little birdie. Oh, he's gone. He ran away. He's gone. But yeah, man, this is where I grew up. This is, uh, take you by the, take you by the water feature. <laughs> or sick water feature. <laughs> I, like, never got fished. <laughs> Oh well. Oh my. Hello. I'm just so bright. But yeah, that's my home. For those of you who saw the, the first time that I did a walkabout, you've probably heard a lot of this before, but that's okay. For those of you who have never seen this before, now you've seen it. 
it's really beautiful. I'm, I feel really, I don't know, really privileged, really happy every time I get to come here and, and just spend time, you know, where I grew up because not everybody gets to do that. So I try to remember that that's, you know, something to be very thankful for. But yeah, now I'm going to go back inside. Do you guys want to say hi to my dad? Hi, daddy. <laughs> I was showing everybody where you are and saying hi. Say hi. Are you lying? I'm, I'm, I'm making a video. Say hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> okay, bye-bye, guys.